So today I'm going to show you how to do protected routes with the Next.js. You should have some idea of what protected routes are since you did search for this video. But let's use this form to demonstrate. So when we log in, when we log in, it's going to uh, take us to a dashboard page like this. Cool, we're on the dashboard page. We have a logout button and then when we press it, we can log out. That's cool. But here's the issue. Even though we're logged out we can still access the dashboard page just by entering in the url like this now we're in the dashboard page even though we are we are not logged in it's the same thing for when you are logged in with the login page so let's, let's just log in we're logged in but here's the issue if you press this home page it's going to take us back to the log login page again and you shouldn't be able to go back to the login page once you are uh, logged in so to fix this, we're going to use something called middleware. Middleware is basically a function that runs before anything happens. In our case, it's a function, a function that will run before a route change. Middleware was introduced to Next.js in version 12, so you will need version 12 or higher. Also, I'm sorry if I'm like stuttering. I'm doing this off the top of my head, not off a script, so my bad. Okay, let's get to the actual coding part of the video. Here's a basic overview of the application. We have a form and a function that runs uh, from that form. This function basically just sets a cookie called login to true and then pushes, a, pushes us to the dashboard page. In a real application, when you are doing a login thing, you'll have like password validation, some API calls, but the function is uh, simplified for this video. It's the same thing for the dashboard page, a form and a logout function that removes the cookie and pushes us to the home page. I will explain later why you need a cookie. So to actually create the middleware, what you're going to want to do is in the root directory of your project, you're going to want to create a file called middleware.js, like so. And then in this file is where all the functions that are going to run before a route change will happen. As in any function that we export in this file will run before a route change happens. So to begin, all you're going to want to do is import in next response from next i'll link the doc and you can read more into what this actually does and then what we're going to want to do is create a function called middleware we're going to have, want to export this i mean so we're just going to do export default middleware and then that is not a function actually uh, export default function sorry middleware and then have a request just create the function like this. Cool, we have our function. Okay, now that we have our function, we are gonna need two things. What we're gonna need is the cookie, this cookie that we set, and the URL, the current URL that we are in. So to get the cookie, all we're gonna have to do is just like, let's say we can create a variable called verify, and then in this variable, we can request our cookie like this, request.cookies.get, and then the name of our cookie, which was I'm logged in. That is wrong. Okay, cool. Now we have our cookie. I'm going to explain why we need a cookie is because middleware will run on the server side. It's not going to run on the client side. So when a function runs on the server side, it's not going to have uh, access to things that are on the client side, like let's say local storage, but it will have access to cookie on the server side. So if you set it in the cookie, you can get the value from the cookie and then do some logic with it. And then the next thing we need is uh, the URL. So you can just create a variable called URL and then request the URL with request. Request our URL. Cool. We have our URL now. We have our verify and our URL. Now that we have both our uh, cookie and the URL, now we just need to do some simple logic. It's going to be the logic. Logic is going to be like, if we are not logged in, we should not be able to access the dashboard page. So how can we do that? It's just a simple if condition like this. If we do not have verify. If we do not have verify, because verify will be false if we're not logged in. And URL that includes dashboard, like so. Come on, I know, I know how to spell. There we go. Dashboard, what do you want to do? If we're not logged in and the URL is dashboard, we want to redirect back to the home page. So to do redirect, we can use next response. So all we have to do is just return next response and next response has our redirect property 
and we can just redirect back to our home page. In your application, the home page link might be different, but for this application, it's the local host. So let's just copy this, paste it in here. Now, this should work theoretically, but let's just test it out just in case. Okay, we're not logged in, and we're trying to do some 2020 to sneaky hacking. We try to go to the dashboard page. Let's see what happens. See, it's not letting us go to the dashboard page. Let's try this again. I'm trying to go to the dashboard page. Enter. It's not letting us go back. Now let's try it in a new tab. Paste it in here. We try to go to the dashboard page. We're not logged in. It redirect, redirects us back to the home page. Cool. Now let's do the same thing for the login page. What's going to be the logic? If we are logged in, we should not be able to access the login page. It's going to be the same thing as this. Again, you can just copy and paste it honestly, and then change a few things like so. So if we are logged in, just remove the exclamation. Now, if we were logged in and URL, this time we're not going to do includes, this time we're going to do equals, equals the login page, our login pages on this URL, it might be different for your application. So let's see, if we are logged in and the URL equals local, host 3000 where our login page is, we want to redirect, but redirect to the dashboard, like so. Now this should work. Let's just check to see if it is. See, so we're logging in. We're logging in, cool. Google all is freaking out. Now let's try to go to the login page. Press this. See, it's literally not letting us go to the login page anymore. Let's just try it in a new tab as well. Just go to the login page directly. It redirects us back to the dashboard page. Now we can just go back by logging out cool and let's try the dashboard again now that we are logged out let's try going to the dashboard see now both of these work that's cool log in again I'm trying to go back to the home page nothing everything works perfectly now in a real application obviously this is going to be more complex this is very basic right now ideally you're going to have have like a refresh token in your cookie and then you're going to use that refresh token to make an api call to your back end to see if the user is actually true and is verified and all the security stuff is good but this is just like the fundamentals i'm showing you the fundamentals of how to do it which you can apply to make it more complex and make it more secure so uh, that's it for the video i guess i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions leave it in the comments